Yes, I still got to grind down this part and sun it up, make it all smooth before I varnish it. And that's the difference. Okay, I'm going to show you how we make the, the shaka. This is the calabash after it's already dug out, scraped on the outer layer so it becomes brown like this and you could just see the pure shell because this is how it looks when it's still green it and it's all fresh and this is how it looks after it's cured out in the sun and it's ready to be made into a shaka or sisera in Garifuna and if you look right there that's the calabash tree yeah that big crooked looking tree that's a calabash tree now if I'm making a big amount, I often would use a, a drill, yeah, so I drill in this part. Check it out and we got a hole right there. Then I drill in this part here and you got to be patient, you know, because sometimes the bit will slip. Check it out and we got holes on both ends, that end and this end. So the next step is we're going to grind the hole a little bigger, this one, so we could take out the, the substance, the fruits from inside the shell. The instrument is used in playing the garifuna music, playing the drums, without the, without the shakers or the sisera and garifuna then the music doesn't sound very nice. You know, so the, the shakers, they play a, a great role in playing the music. So now I take the screwdriver and I dig into the shell. And when I do that, inside it is a hard substance, but I grind it around and it get very um, soft and juicy. And it takes about 15 minutes. Then the next step is I gotta scrape it with a knife. And right here you start seeing the color, the natural color of the shell which is brown. So now I should could show you how I make the stick, the handle for the for the shaker. This is a broomstick and this is what I use for making the shaka handle. So I cut it to the size that I need. Then after I cut it, I start grinding it. Now this is my grinder. I start grinding the stick. See? Start getting a different color. Now I'm gonna measure. All right, that's the length of the calabash. So I'm gonna grind this part down so it could fit inside the calabash. So now we are this, we are to this part. I have my stick that I made. I recycle the broomstick, I grind it up, and it's gonna be the handle for my shaka. So now I have my beads. I'm ready to fill it up, glue it up, and get it all ready to sun up and mark and ready for the market. Then I gotta shake it until it sounds nice enough to blend with the rhythm when we're playing the drums. So it sounds like you need a little bit more so I get some more. No, it sounds nice, it's ready. It's live, that's what we use as nice, it's live. Check it out. And after it's dried, then I gotta sun it up. After it's sanded up, then I varnish it and it's ready for the market. Now I could show you one how it looks when it's finished. There's my name on there. 
As most people ask for my signature, so I gotta put it on there, you know. I have my email address, which is carlramos78 at yahoo.com. And also I'm on Facebook. You know, you could find my name on Facebook, Carl Ramos. You will see my picture, you know. Yeah, I'm a Rasta man, you know, I'm very creative. Uh, so I have a number which is 637-4641. Then I have an address which is Placencia Point, Belize, Central America. And I live in St. Bite Village. I'm pretty easy to find. Everybody know me. My name is Carl Ramos.